Look, I get it. Seeing your entire character along with a good portion of the landscape is appealing. It's the most elementary way of playing as far as views are concerned in an action title. With that being said, people, it's 2018 now. New visual perspectives post the 1970s were bound to happen. Now first person shooters made popular the first person view. Now things are coming back full circle to the third per person perspective all over again. Question is, is this a good thing? Is this a case of gamers riding the ship? Or as we examine the parallels with Anthem, is this just simply a journey down a superficial path? But before we get too deep into that, it's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Hey yo, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications please, so you know when your boy is dropping these doses. Hey, I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Look, okay look peoples, I want to talk this whole third person thing, this rebirth in three parts. One, how has this come about? Two, is this sending us down a path I'm not sure that we even want to get into? And three, what is the ultimate solution? Number one, how has this come about? Now, even though the first person view started well before the last generation, it became uber popular in the sixth generation thanks to games like Halo and Ghost Recon. It really propelled into the premier visual component in the seventh gen with the 360 and the PlayStation 3. However, during the latter part of that gen, you started to hear grumblings from those who favored a more traditional viewing aspect like the third person view. Now they were drowned out because the 360 was king and the amount of software provided to the mainstream. And whoever holds that crown is the one who dictates the rules. Fast forward to now and Sony has taken that crown. They are more successful with the traditional craft of gaming, hence the shift in appeal. Now number two, how is this sending us down a path I'm not sure that we want? Now, the problem with this all, as far as the refocus on the third person view, okay, now follow me here, because I know y'all sitting there thinking, MM2K, you got your tin full hat on again, you know what I'm saying, you're on your Alex Jones step, but just follow me. As we heard grumblings last gen about the first person perspective, we are now hearing it again about the third person focus. Now, like I just said, follow your boy. Just wait, because I'm going to put this all together by the time we get to the end. I know some of you were thinking, MM2K, with games like Cyberpunk being looked at skeptically due to it solely being first person, how can you say something like that? Well, I say that because even though y'all focus on what the masses are saying right now, and the masses switch from side to side, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're, they're like fair weather friends, you have a groundswell of gamers, just like last gen, this gen, or saying, you know, they're confused. They're looking at y'all like, why are y'all upset that games like Cyberpunk 2077 are in first person? Because first person is big on immersion. And Cyberpunk 2077, by all intents and purposes, is all about that immersion. Making you feel like the protagonist and putting you in the world as seamlessly as possible. Why have it any other way? Now, to make you understand my point even further, now we got Anthem coming, okay? Now people think that Anthem just looks fantastic, not just visually, but everything about the possibilities of the game looks super uber fantastic. And I'm telling you, it's because of the third person view. Now this is despite A, the game is developed by Bioware, a company rich on story, but yet who seems to be purging that element as being fundamental in this game, and, they, and they've hinted to that. B, the title not being given the classic Bioware treatment, meaning when Bioware has something good, they flaunt it. I'm getting to feel more like the, the Mass Effect uh, Andromeda, you know what I'm saying, as far as keeping it close to the vest until the very, very end. And C, it mimics the lifelessness and dullness and cheesiness of the worst parts of Destiny 2, a game that prior to its Forsaken DLC, DLC was abandoned for its first title. But despite all this, people are willing to ignore this simply because they're excited to see the polygons and compute units in third person. Now, if this thing flops and, be, and becomes a, 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 a doo-doo market, then you will have the nerve, trust me, to wonder why. <laughs> but three, despite all that, here's the simple solution. Look, people, it's 2018. Technology should be at a fever pitch, and it is. 
talent is said to be bountiful across the board when it comes to development. For the life of me, I can't understand why people won't end this conundrum. Why in the flying f can't we have both? That's why I put so much stock in a company like Bethesda. And a game is as layered and as huge as Fallout. They have the time and they've put in the effort to end that conundrum and just give people what they want. No matter how stupid and immersion ruining it can be. And that's it from your boy MM2K. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Like I always tell y'all, y'all can come with me or come at me. It don't matter to your boy. But if you like what you heard, you know what I'm saying? You know where to find me. I'm on the corner of every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your boy TRS and your man Dirk Griggity. We're all co-hosts of a, of a podcast called Scram Punks. It comes on weekly, 9.30 Eastern, you know what I'm saying, on my YouTube channel for now check us out you know what i'm saying we just dropped another dope episode episode 12 we're gonna drop another one soon and yo support my brethren the broadband bullies check out that patreon link below also me and the triple b brother and the homie nathos you know what i'm saying we're gonna be doing a bi-weekly show you know what i'm saying it's for the xbox enthusiasts that you know may be trapped in the middle of the extreme fanboys that want to act like that Phil got the magical pixie dust and everything's okay. And trapped also in between those that just want to have pure hate for Xbox. If you feel like you're that type of gamer, we're coming out with a new show by Weekly Show. More to come on that. But stay tuned. It is, it is connected to the Patreon. And last but not least, check out that Discord link, man. It's going on in that Discord like nowhere else. You know what I mean? And as always, don't let the third person craze put you in a silo. We can have it all, baby. Have a wonderful gaming day.